Okay, it's not bad, but I mean... Eh... Now, let me give you some context here. I'm not the biggest fan of Fall Out Boy. I didn't listen to much of their earlier stuff. My introduction to them was American Beauty, American Psycho. And you can thank Big Hero 6 for that. As Immortals was my freaking jam back in the 2010s. And then the rest of the album kind of followed suit, even though that album did have a couple stinkers. And then, the next thing I heard from them was their god-awful version of the Ghostbusters song with Missy Elliott. Yeah, did not really give much confidence. And then I listened to Mania. It was a piece of shit. <laughs> So, now we have this new album, and before this, I watched a review of this album from ARTV, a very credible m music critic, and he said that the album was overall fine. That's kind of where I stand on it too, but I'm going to be a bit nicer because I did find a decent bit here to enjoy. Now, let me make something clear. I am not calling Fallout Boy hacks or talentless losers. Nothing like that. They are talented people and they are capable of making very good music. Heck, I still put on American Beauty American Psycho every now and then and just jam to it. Like it is a it's a really good album, in my personal opinion. But I didn't really have much drive to check out their past discography after that because after that I'm just like eh I mean I'll just I'll hold on to this album and the rest I couldn't really care and then Mania made me jump ship because oh boy was that oh, was that album bad they've just personally not been my thing so being someone that's more on the casual side when it comes to actually keeping track of these guys I went into this album with middling expectations. And I came out the other side thinking it was just decent. Not bad, not amazing, just decent. Let's go ahead and go to the track breakdown so I can tell you what I mean here. This is what it looks like for me. So as always, we'll go top to bottom. Start with the good songs. Love From The Other Side is a hell of a comeback single. An absolute banger. And the best song on the album. Make it out what you will. And then Fake Out's pretty good too. Also a little shout out to the uh, audio video, which references the Lost Boys. Like, that, I enjoy that. I enjoy references like that. And then I Am My Own Muse is the second best on the album. Really enjoy that one. Definitely a great one. Going to be in my best rock and metal songs of the year. And then Flu Game was also pretty good, but it was just good enough, really. And before you ask, no, I am not counting Baby Annihilator or The Pink Seashell, because those two are interludes, not actual songs. I don't count interludes in my track listings. That just seems wrong. It'd be like if I put... Say I'm reviewing Dark Before Dawn by Breaking Benjamin. And I have Dark in the Good and Dawn somewhere in the Bad. Just an example. I'm not saying I'd actually do that. But it wouldn't really feel fair to compare them to the actual full-fledged songs that are more than a minute long. So... Yeah... But Love From The Other Side and I Am My Own Music are the two standouts, and then the other two are just good enough. And then we get to the 5 OK songs, which kind of just blend together, really. Heartbreak, make, Heartbreak Feels So Good is fine. Hold Me Like a Grudge is fine. Heaven, Iowa is a bit disappointing because it has really great instrumentation, but I feel like in the lyricism it kind of lacks a bit. And then So Good Right Now is fine, and the title track which ARTV said was one of the best on the album. I can't really agree. It's just fine. It's passable. Passable mainstream indie rock. 
And then we get to the two songs that I just outright hate. The Kintsugi Kid is probably my least favorite on the whole album. It is annoying. It has it oh has a very big over reliance on the what uh uh ohs and you know those annoying fillers to you know fill time between like a chorus and a second verse or a chorus and a pre-chorus and a second you know what I mean. Those sounds that just don't need to be in there. And then what time to be alive is almost as bad. But it has decent instrumentation. It's just an lyricism and again, over reliance on just background filler noise and those freaking hand claps that are so, so annoying that drag it down to the bad tier. But I mean, outside of that, that's really about it. So, as usual, I split, I split the album half and half, where I put the good and the bad, and then split the okay songs down the middle, so. That would lead to a one, two, three, four, five, six. A six to five ratio. So. Yeah, that's how that splits, a six to five ratio. Thoughts on the album overall? It's decent, it's fine. But I don't know, I, I felt like, especially since Love From The Other Side was the comeback single and it's such a banger, I was expecting more. I mean, I am disappointed, but I'm not mad, I'm not angry, I don't feel like my time was wasted. But it's not an album I'm really going to replay over and over. To me, I Am My Own Muse and Love From The Other Side are the two I'm going to keep spinning off of this. And then the rest of the album is give or take. I'm not really sure if I'll listen to it again, but I didn't feel like my time was wasted, so I, I'm going to be nice. My final verdict for Fall Out Boy's latest album, So Much for Stardust, is a 6 out of 10. It is decent. It is good enough. But it's not amazing and nowhere near the masterpiece of American Beauty, American Psycho. So, yeah, that's my personal thoughts on the album. If you disagree, that's fine. Feel free to leave your disagreements or any thoughts and opinions you have on this album or this band in general down in the comments down below. And stay tuned because we still got one more album review to do today. That is Death Below by August Burns Red. I'm hoping it's good. So, yep. See you for that review. Peace.